We could jump into a situation too, but both of us kind of went through Donald Sterling. Mm -hmm. You know I mean, this is to the 2013-2014 season. You know, I was with the, we're, we're, I mean, obviously the Clippers, we felt like, you know, we had created a new vibe over there and we really had a chance to win a championship. So, you know, if you, if, if you keep in mind, we were the last team to kind of beat the Warriors before they had their dynasty run. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So we felt like we had something special. We kept, you know, getting each other's way. That's another time. But something that happened during the playoffs that year was the tapes dropped to Donald Sterling. And you were on our team for a little bit that they year. Let me go early right before yeah, that happened. Yeah, right before that happened. But, you know, you took it one crazy way, and we talked about it off camera that I yeah. even know how you felt because we hadn't really talked about it because you were already gone by the time you hit. And, and then we took it one way. But tell mm -hmm. me how you took it. Like, I was already at the end of my career. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I think me being... So you, so you was on some NWA shit? Well, I was, I was on my Black Panther shit anyway. But being cut, cut before that happened was a blessing in disguise. You probably oh my goodness! I would, cause out. I would, have, I would just left the team. I wouldn't have showed up. I wouldn't have showed up to the more games. <laughs> I would have been, out, I'd have been outside with the fans burning the jerseys. Burning I, what else? Oh, all that too. Burning trees for sure. But I would have been burning all the jerseys. I'd have been, I'd been protesting too. But you I, made I'd a been, song. I'd have been just as hurt as the fans. You made a song with Face though, didn't you? I made a song called "America the Beautiful" about the whole situation, how I felt. You know, I felt I was like, is it a quarter? Is it a cotton field? And that's, a, that's how he made it look. About, you know, and it, it, it was it was just upsetting to me, knowing how much we play the game, know how much we love the game, to know that somebody that you know that that's benefiting off what we love to do feels like that about Crazy. us. You know what I mean? Real quick, product play. Where can they find that song at? America the Beautiful. You can find that um, on iTunes, and you can find it YouTube. We need to start a statement called Scarface. Plug, me and Scarface. Plug your shit and your begging. And you be, hey, but you, you, yeah, you Come right on, on time with on that, tone, man. That's bro. Right. Come on, man. Trying to get right you them downloads. Man, the numbers. appreciate that, man. Trying to get you them downloads. Need that we took it different. You know what I mean? I think, you know, the shit hit like out the blue. We're in Golden State right before game four, you know, and it, and it leaked and we found on uh, on social media. And my reaction, well, I think, was different from other people's reaction. But like I touched on on, the, on that Sean Key episode last time we were here, I faced real racism. Right. You know what I mean? Like mannequins, dyed nigger, swastikas all over my school. Like I faced real racism. So to hear an old ass rich white man say, speak to, 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 to the black culture that way, it didn't really trip me out because like I said, like you just touched on, he's definitely not the only one that thought that mm -hmm. way. He was just the only one dumb enough to get, get caught. You know, to get caught by a snake of a, a snake of rat neck ass, goat mouth ass woman he was dealing with. Body to your body. Yeah, man, you know what I mean? So to me, it didn't really trip me out. So like we, <laughs> as we kind of start, you know, kind of start spreading like wildfire, texting each other like, yo, this shit just really happened. He just said that shit. So we, you know, next next day we come in and, and Doc handled it beautifully. I think this is the first thing for the new commissioner, the first thing on the new commissioner's plate. And then this is our first year with Doc and Doc was a shield for our team. Doc was just like, hey, you know, first he thought, he asked what we thought and we, everyone kind of expressed our opinion. He said, whatever you do, kind of do it together. But then Doc was kind of the shield for our team. Like he wanted, you know, he, obviously everyone knew it was the worst time to have this shit drop, but he was the only one to talk to the media about it. He addressed all the questions and we were just allowed to go out there and, and try to focus, try to play. We heard hella shit. You know, you guys shouldn't play. You should boycott. How can you play for a racist owner? How can you do this? How can you do that? And I'm thinking like, Y'all know, I mean, first of all, we feel like we have a good enough team to win a championship, but you know how many owners or bosses that, that you work for don't like you? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. if they say something, Facts. so are you just not going to go to work? You know what yeah. I mean? So like I said, it was never, we were never playing for Sterling. We were pl always playing for us yeah. and trying to build our own tradition and trying to get the Clippers, you know, from being a doormat to a respectable team. So we got all kinds of crazy, you guys should do this, you guys should do that, but we just sat down and, and talked and we threw ideas out there and I actually came up with the, you know, let's flip our shits inside out and we get out there, throw them on the ground and kind of just let everyone know. We know what he said was wrong, what he did was wrong, but we have a bigger goal and it never had anything to do with him from the beginning. You think that just that hovering over y'all affected y'all play? No, I mean, we got our asses blown out in game four, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, but we ended up winning the, 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 the series in seven, and then we were up 3-1 against Houston, and we tricked that off. So I don't think, you know, it was noise, but it was, you can't blame us tricking shit off on that. It was just yeah. another distraction that we that's had to just, deal that's with. That's just not the right motivation. No, not from your owner. Yeah, You know what I mean? Right not from the situation. And then, I, you know, so it was just, it was definitely a black eye, but like I said, it was a chance for Adam Silver you know, to kind of, okay, your you're first year on the job, this is your, 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 your you know, what are you going to do? You're going to do it gracefully. 
handled it amazing. I think that's when he kind of showed people, okay, you know, I'm ready for this heavy lifting. He, he did what he's supposed to do. He got to do it out the league, and we've been moving on ever since.